Salt and I have been Apple fans for quite a long time. Yeah. The only problem is I'm temporarily on the dark side. <laughs> yes, just, I have an Android phone. He just got it yesterday. Yeah. As of the time of this recording. Yep, yesterday was Christmas, so, well, I got a new Christmas present. Yeah. But because, you know, the random alpha, budget is a big priority, so... Sadly, I cannot get the iPhone 10, but oh well. This is a good alternative. So as of now, I'm temporarily on the dark side yeah. of things, so. But I'm not the only one who got a new phone. I also got an iPhone 8. He has an iPhone. So that means now we have the choice between Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Oh wait, yeah. didn't we have that choice a long time ago since this is number three? Yeah, this is the third one. Well, here's the best part. They're updated up phones, and funny enough, we have not recorded a video of the updated versions of each. Yeah. So, I got a list of challenges right in front of my face right here on my Mac. He's keeping score on his Mac. Yeah. Well, here we go again. Let's get into it. So I guess we'll first start off with what devices we were using. So of course, we both have new phones. Yeah. So I'm just going to plug in my Samsung here. So the phone we're using with the Samsung is the Samsung Galaxy A50. It's currently running Android 9 Pie, and it is running, it's actually running the latest version of Android 9 Pie. So launching into Android Auto here, you'll notice that we now have a redesigned application. So compared to the last one, yeah, it's completely different. We no longer have our five sections with our home screen, our navigation, phone, music, and then the separate exit button. We now have a basic home screen like we did in Apple CarPlay. Now, if I had more applications here, which I don't, then I could be able to scroll. And this time I actually don't have to worry about storage. I actually have 64 gigs on my phone compared to eight last time. Oh wow. Yeah, I had to deal with eight. <laughs> now I'm eight times the amount of storage. So I could put more on here, but in terms of what I use, I don't have that much, so it works. So now launching into all of our other stuff. Of course, when you get an Android phone, you get Google Maps with all your other Google Mapsy stuff. You can pinch to zoom, scroll around, you got your compass, you can enter a destination. The Google Assistant app has been, the microphone used to be up here, but now it's down here. Yeah. So I can tap on it, and Google Assistant appears just like that. But now another thing you'll notice is now, wait, how did that app just appear down here? Well, actually, this is actually a toolbar. So if I launch a music app, like say, Google Play Music, and I put something on as soon as I find my playlists. All right. So I got something playing right now, and I gotta wait for my toolbar to come back before, <laughs> there we go. So now, okay, I wanna get back to the map. Bam, my map is back, and if I want to pause my music, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Super handy. I Google thought out about this pretty well, and typically I get mad at Google a whole lot, but they thought about this pretty well. And then the last new noteworthy thing is the notification shade. As you can see, I have no new notifications. Yeah. So that's Android Auto. How about Apple CarPlay? Right, so this is the new interface for Apple CarPlay. Um, I, I actually don't remember what it looked like last time, so... You can probably see the... Um, some things have changed. For example, now you can swipe left. Something that I actually miss from Android Auto, believe it or not. You... 
So actually you can toggle not just by swiping, but you can also just push this button over and over again yeah, to do too. that. There might have been some interface changes, but I kind of forgot. Also, you can, this kind of replaced the whole home button thing. That symbol replaced it. I'm guessing you can still hold on it and it, it gets Siri. Let me see. Yep. Hi. Okay. But tell them about the new feature with Siri. So there's a new feature with Siri where you say, hey Siri. No, okay. So that's what you can do with Siri now. You can, you don't have to tap that or press the button on there. You can just say, hey Siri, and it comes up. Now I can do that with Google too, but Google doesn't always respond. It's nice how Siri is capable of doing this now, but not only that, but Siri has also gotten some major, major updates about yeah. all this stuff. So I, that's also our big thing we're gonna test. So for the iPhone, we are using Salt's iPhone 8. Yes, just 8, not 8 Plus, not 8 anything, it's just not anything 8. anything fancy, it's on iOS 13.3 as of current. And I forgot to mention the carrier with my phone, so we actually use different carriers, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because cell signal. I don't yeah. know how well each is going to do, so keep in mind that if one of our phones doesn't perform as well, it's probably because of different carriers. Yeah, I use AT&T, he uses Verizon. Yeah. So, I guess we got everything co covered. Yeah. All right, shall we begin our challenge? So I'm going to do something new here, and this is actually inspiration from Car Confections when they do their Apple CarPlay versus Android Auto comparisons. So not only do they see whether Google or Siri can do each, they also time it. So and because it. now our phones are similarly specced, I want to time it. All right. Ready, Salt? Yeah. Your first challenge is navigate to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Navigate to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Getting directions to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Southeast Washington. Yeah, that, that's it. And we're loaded in 15.71 seconds. Right, one point for CarPoy. Next challenge. Your next challenge is navigate. To, oh, just navigate to my house. Oh. Hey, Siri. Navigate to Alpha's house. Getting directions to Alpha DeWolf. Home. Bam. Bam that's and we're loaded in 12.59 seconds. Oh yeah, navigate to the closest subway. The reason I actually ask this is because we have three different subways in our area. So we want to see which one. Uh, I'm serious. I am I am actually curious though, which one is the closest? Yeah. I think it's the one in Walmart. Might be. Yeah, I think it's the one in Walmart. Either that or what in about the Sharon the Center. I'm thinking more about the Sharon Center. Um, yeah. I guess we'll find out. Is it Walmart or is it the Sharon Center? Right. Uh, hey Siri, navigate to the closest subway. The nearest one I see is Subway. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. And that's uh, 4.59 seconds. So I didn't actually navigate you to it, but the truth is I actually accept this because it's giving you op options and telling you the ratings and reviews. Yeah. So that way you can make your decision, okay, do I really want to go there or do I not? All right, your next one. Ooh, we get to send text messages to each other. Oh, hey Siri. Send text to Alpha Day Wolf. What do you want to say? Subscribe to the Random Alpha. Your message to Alpha Day Wolf says subscribe to the Random Album. Ready to send it? Yes. All right. Uh, so it came into my Mac, not my phone, but oh well. <laughs> came into my Mac at 23.92 seconds. Right on to the next round. Oh, this one needs no introduction. Hey Siri. How old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 73 years old. 6.42. All right, next one. Who shot James A. Garfield? Hey, Siri. 
who shot James A. Garfield? Charles Julius Gitto was an American writer and lawyer who assassinated United States President James points. Garfield on July 2nd, 1881. Take note, add an extra point. Okay. What was the time? Uh, 11.41. Ooh, another capital to look up. And this uh, one I actually know. What? What is the capital of Sierra Leone? Hey Siri. What's the capital of Sierra Leone? Freetown is the capital of Sierra Leone. Oh, that's really yep. easy to remember. Actually, yeah, that's it. Uh, 9.11. And then the last super funny one. Spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Hey Siri. How do you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, I don't think it's getting the point on this one. It worked last time. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working this time, but... Yeah, I don't think it gets the point on this one. Mark, no point. Yeah. Now, moving into our music category... Hey, Siri. Koi Detour. Okay, let's hear Detour by Gunnar Olsen. I stopped the timer a little late, but I'll call it 13.17. Okay. Hey Siri. Pause music. Alright, uh, next one, play rock music. I don't know if you have any, but we're about to find out. Hey Siri. Play rock music. Now playing rock music. That's rock music. Hey Siri. Pause music. I'll call it 13.73. Uh, hey Siri. Play country music on Pandora. I'll need to access your Pandora data to do this. Yes. Just a sec. Now playing 90s, 2000s, today's country radio from Pandora. Yep, you got that. At 27.19. Uh, we're done with that. So now we got two more questions left. And yeah, we'll actually get our actual confirmation of what the weather is yeah. on this one. What's the weather? Hey Siri. What's the weather? It's currently cloudy and 37 degrees. Temperatures are heading down from 39 degrees to 35 this afternoon. That would be 7.66. Alright, uh, last one. Hey Siri. What do I have going on tonight? You have a couple of appointments. At 9 p.m., need to poop. And all day today, Kwanzaa. Okay. Oh my god, that was funny. 15.59. That's the last one, right? Yeah, that was the last one. Right. All right. Well, we're done with Apple CarPlay, so let's switch to Android Auto. Hey, Google. Navigate to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Sure, the White House. And... Popped up. Head east. Yeah, what are we at? Uh, 13.67. Uh, how does that compare to your iPhone? My iPhone was lighter. Oh, uh, yes! Good work, Ant. Good work, Google. Even though I hate you. Hey, Google. Navigate to Alpha's house. I can't find that place. What do you mean you can't find my house? Alright, it definitely failed this, because yeah. it clearly cannot pull from a contact. It should be from a contact, but it's not there for some reason. All right, come on, Google. How can you fail this one? And yet your maps are amazing. I mean, even compared to Apple Maps, you gotta be honest, Google Maps still outranks them. Yeah. All right. This one they should be able to do. Hey, Google. Navigate to the closest subway. Okay, subway, here we go. 
Head east. So let's see if my phone can do this correctly compared to yours. Hey Google. Send text to salt. Subscribe to the random alpha. Here's your text to salt pepper. Subscribe to the random alpha. Do you want to send it or change it? Send it. Okay. Message sent. Yep, that was the sound. And it came into the right phone. And it was faster too. Oh, wait, what? 21.33 to 23. I'm surprised actually. All right, time for some general knowledge questions. <laughs> no introduction for this one. Hey, Google. How old is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is 73 years old. Hey, Google. Who shot James A. Garfield? According to Simple Wikipedia, Garfield happened in Washington, D.C. on July 2, 1881. Garfield. Garfield was shot in the back by Charles J. Guiteau at about 9.30 a.m., less than four months into Garfield's term as the 20th President of the United States. Okay, you add the time plus the extra point for information. Hey, Google. What is the capital of Sierra Leone? Not sure how to help with, what is the capital of Sierra Leone? Yeah. Showing results for what is the capital of Sierra Leone. Okay, yeah. yeah. Not, I'm surprised. I saw Apple fail this once, and now I saw Google fail this once. This ain't good. Why is it always inconsistent? I don't know. I really don't know. Hey, Google. Spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Not sure how to help with this. Hey, Google. Play Celestial. Playing Celestial. That's it. Yep. Okay. 3.98. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one that Sugar Skull has written. Alright. Hey Google. Pause music. Hey Google. Play rock music. Alright, asking to play rock. Okay, that was an interesting choice. It decided to play the piano guys, which is not rock. So does that count? Or? Well, I guess so, but yeah, I think it'll count. Hey Google, play country music on Pandora. Okay, asking to play country. Stop asking. Well, sort of, got it. <laughs> Let's just say that's a half point. Yeah, we'll give it half a point. All right, then our last two questions. First up, hey Google, what's the weather? It's currently 38 degrees and cloudy and crazy. today it'll be cloudy with a high of 40 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. It's really what? crazy. 40 degrees? Four, this is Christmas time. This is the day after Christmas and typically it is negative five degrees outside. How is it almost 40 degrees? Winter just start, Winter solstice just passed a few days. Yeah, this isn't right. What do I have going on tonight? There's one entry for today. At 9 p.m., you have I farted. Uh, I see we both have similar. Um, yes, clearly. Similar. Okay. Alrighty, well. <laughs> I think we know who won for today. Yep. Should I take the time while Salt is doing his calculations to mention our new partnership with a music band? Or not necessarily a band, but we have a friend of ours who's re recently posted some music known as Sugar Skull Music. I don't know if exactly it's royalty free, but we have our partnership with him, so we are now able to feature his music on our channel. 
And if you want to hear more of his music, all you have to do is visit Sugar Skull Music on YouTube. That or just watch our amazing videos. Okay. Results are in. They are? Yeah. So, for CarPoy, uh, it's 13. And for Auto, it's 10.5. Oh, Apple CarPlay won this one. Mainly because of all the times Auto failed. Yeah. And when I calculated the time, surprisingly, um, Auto came out on this one with 146.92 seconds in comparison with 181.04 seconds. I wonder what the average is, actually. Well, despite that I got a new phone, hopefully, to compete against his, I guess I s Apple CarPlay is still the best. Yeah. I really wish I had an iPhone. Why did my old one have to break? You guys remember my 5C? I loved that thing. Yeah. Now it, it had to break. I so there are your results for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the latest versions. And yeah. despite how many of you have complained that Siri isn't that capable, well, let me tell you this. Siri just beat my Google Assistant, and believe it or not, last time, Siri has defeated Google Assistant too. Well, last time we made a video. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know if it's just because we're big Apple fans and Siri loves to listen to us, but who so knows? So far, it's proven that Siri's just better. In every way. Except for the time. Well, yeah. auto beat uh, CarPlay on that, but... Yeah, and I can't figure out what number or thing to send a message to. Well, yeah. That's it. That's your results for the third uh, CarPlay versus Auto video. Alrighty. Well, got nothing else to talk about, so... Salt Pepper, Random Alpha, signing, signing out. out. Navigate to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, District of Columbia. Where would you like to go? <laughs> At 9 p.m. Need to poop. <laughs> All day today. Kwanzaa. Okay. Um. Oh shoot, I forgot to stop. Hey Google. What do I have going on tonight? Tonight's forecast is 37 degrees and cloudy. That's... That's not what I asked. Hey, Google. Navigate to Salt's house. Salt house, all right. Okay, there we go. We got something. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not it! I think I'll pass on that offer. <laughs>